Are you here for your tour? Perfect, man. Come in and join us. My name is Blake Pittman, and I'll be your tour guide today. We're so happy that you could be here with us. Um, we're in the Watkins Administration Building. In this building, we have our offices down here, um, business registrar, admissions, and financial aid. Um, and upstairs, we have some classrooms. But we're going to start by going in here to the office of the president um, so you can meet President Kimbrough. Hey, President Kimber, I got somebody you need to meet. How are you, Blake? You're good. It's good to have you on campus. We're glad you're here. And we are looking forward to hopefully seeing you very soon to uh, start your education or to continue education. Uh, one of the things that we are most proud of is our mission statement. And everything we do is filtered through this statement that says that we are committed to the integration of Christian faith and uh, academic excellence in a Christ-centered environment. So if that's what you're looking for, we are here. I'm always here to serve you. On Fridays, my door is open. It's called Open Door Friday. That's for any student, any employee, just to come by and chat with me, talk with me about your concerns or needs, or really just to get to know me. One of the things that, that we know is a, a unique thing about CBC is that I do want to know you and you can know me. And I just don't think you'll find that everywhere else. And in fact, you may not find that anywhere else. Uh, but I just want you to know that we're here and we'd love to see you very soon. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed your talk with President Kimbrough. You're now joining me here on the second floor of the Watkins Building. Um, I'm gonna show you the Mitchell Lecture Hall. Um, it's the only lecture hall we have here on campus because one thing that we're big on is having small class sizes. Our student-teacher ratio is 11 to one, 12 to one, somewhere in there. Um, so we want you to have those small, intimate class sizes. But we do have a lecture hall uh, for mostly Bible classes because we require um, three Bible classes, um, survey of Old Testament, survey of New Testament, and you get to choose between um, life of Christ or life of Paul for your third, no matter what degree option you do. So if you would like to join me in here, I'll show you around. As you can see in here, um, everything's... Um, Fairly new in this building. Um, like I said, it was finished in 2011. Uh, so everything's pretty tech savvy. Um, we do have the two projectors up front, and a third one will drop down in the middle. Um, that way, wherever you are in the classroom, you'll have a good view. Um, we have outlets um, at every seat. That way, if you need to take notes on your laptop and it's about to die, you can always get a good charge in. We also have cameras in the front and the back of the classroom. A lot of professors will record their lectures um, and post them. Um, especially for our athletes when they have to miss um, for an event um, or meet that they might have. That's enough about the Watkins. Come join me at the Cooper Complex. This is the Cooper Complex. The very first thing we're going to do in here is I'm going to take you in to meet our Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Gary McAllister. Hey, Dr. McAllister. Hello. Hey. Welcome. Good to see you this morning. Uh, I'm Gary McAllister. I'm the Vice President for Academic Affairs. I'm so glad you're taking this time to come by to see us today. Um, if you ever stop by my office, it's always available. There's not a secretary in between me and you. I want to make you my priority, and I just want to say that uh, we have a lot of academic programs here, great faculty. So if you're looking for small class sizes, the ability to relate to your faculty member, we're going to give you that ability, and we're going to provide the types of programs that are going to help you achieve the goal that you want to achieve. So come and be a part of that, and hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye. What you're looking at here is a picture of Old Main. Uh, it was the original building here on campus. At the time, it was built in the late 1800s. Um, it was an all-women's college, Central College for Women. After that, CBC bought the property in 1952 uh, with the BMA of Arkansas. And since then, we've been growing and growing um, out of this. Unfortunately, 
Um, in 1983, the building was tore down uh, because it was just too expensive to renovate at the time. But, kind of looking at some history into some new technology that we have, um, we're going to walk here, in here to Burgess. The Burgess Auditorium, um, this was all redone in 2015. Um, everything was taken out and repainted and, and redone. Um, all the audio, lights, and everything are brand new. So it's really, really awesome facility that we have. It's also where we have chapel every week uh, on Wednesday at 1 o'clock. And chapel is a great time uh, for spirit, spiritual encouragement. And we really try to invest in you spiritually while you're here at Central Baptist College. We have a student-led worship band um, that leads us every week, and they rotate out on um, when they do that. And then we also have a different speaker come in every week as well. That way you'll have plenty that you relate to over the semester. We require you to go to 10 out of 13 chapter, uh, chapels um, every semester. Um, that way we are investing in you spiritually, um, and we can make sure of that. Something that's pretty cool about um, this chapel um, that you're going to see is how big it is compared to what we had 20 years ago. Um, and we'll, we'll drop in there so you can see what that kind of looked like. The Tola Worship Center um, is now used uh, mainly for senior recitals um, and a couple of concerts and stuff like that. Um, but, like I said, this is what we used to have for chapel. Now, as you can see, um, if you take a look inside, um, it looks more like a chapel room um, than the Burgess does. Um, that's because it has that old-time church feel to it. Um, but as you can see, just the growth that we've had from going from these pews um, into those big seats over there into the big auditorium, um, it's pretty awesome. One thing that I do want to mention, um, you've heard from President Kimbrough and Dr. McAllister on their open door policies. Our professors here on campus um, keep their doors open during their um, office hours. That way you can go in anytime. You don't have to schedule an appointment. Of course, they're um, available by appointment too, but if you just need to walk in and ask a quick question, they're more than happy to help you with that. This is the story library, um, and in here, very first thing you're going to see is Cafe 52. Um, if you remember earlier, I told you CBC was founded in the year 1952, and so Cafe 52 is um, to commemorate that. We also have a computer lab over here um, that you can kind of see. Um, let's take a walk through real quick. So in here, you always have a place to get some work done. Um, if you need, you need a place to go. Along with these down here, we also have private study rooms upstairs. That way, if you need a place that is really quiet uh, to go hammer out some work, you have that available to you. Because in this library, um, it's what we consider a loud or busy library. So you don't have to come in here um, and be quiet. There's not going to be a librarian that comes and slaps you on the wrist with a ruler or anything like that. Um, it's a pretty neat dynamic here. Uh, as you can see, it's actually designed to be a hangout place. Um, meant to gather around the tables and uh, maybe play cards or study whatever it is that you want to do. While we're over here, I do want to mention Hall Wars. Hall Wars is a really neat event that we have here on campus. It started in 2015, um, was the first year, and in the spring every year we have a um, week-long um, tournament. Um, so you're playing in different athletic, intellectual, um, absolute lucky games, um, and it is just a ton of fun. But the final night, we always have the lip sync battle, and there's been some great lip syncs um, throughout the years um, since we've started. Also, right here, we have a little um, shrine to Old Main, um, which is a really neat history that we talked about earlier here on campus. This is maybe Student Services um, building, and inside we have several different things, um, including the Mustang Outfitters to start. 
Inside Mustang Outfitters, you got all the CBC apparel that you could ever want. Um, also, we have some stuff that you may need for class um, if you're in a pinch or something like that. So feel free to take a look around. All right, also in here, we have the student services office. Um, our dean of students is located in here, our nurse, um, counselors, disability services. Um, then also, any activities or events that we have here on campus are run through this office. So intramurals, um, day on the links, hall wars, you name it, um, they take care of it. Also in this building, um, is where our dining services are located. Our dining services are open Monday through Friday uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then Saturday and Sunday, Sunday for a brunch and a dinner. Um, and their hours are right there. Always some good food to eat, but the best day is Fried Friday, always. It rotates between fish and chicken, uh, and everybody loves Fried Friday. This is Dixon Hall. It was completed in 2014. It's the only dorm that we have here on campus. We have a guy side and a girl side. Um, and the cool thing about our rooms are that it's you and your roommate, um, and then you have your own air control and your own um, bathroom, which is really, really nice um, to live in. Um, it feels really, it feels a lot like home instead of like a prison cell. Um, so it's it's really cool. In here, you have like a neat little lounge area to hang out at. Um, Nintendo Switch, flat screen TV, and then also we got ping pong over here and foosball over there. Um, we also have a laundry room upstairs. Um, there's two of them, one for the women and one for the men, um, and those are free to you. All you need is your own detergent. Um, we do have curfew uh, Monday through Thursday nights at midnight, and then we also have a clean room check once a week. Here we have a continuation of our legacy walk. Um, we looked over there at some of our recent graduates um, who've gotten their name etched onto our campus. But here we have the Ratliff Bell Tower. And what's really neat about the Ratliff Bell Tower, 10 minutes before the hour, is it's gonna play a hymn for you. And it's uh, really nice um, during Christmas time. Um, it'll play a Christmas um, song, which is also very nice and very seasonal. Um, and then on the hour, it's going to ding real loud uh, to let you know that you may be late for class if you're walking across campus. Not that that's ever happened to any of our students, but um, it could be you, so. Also over here, we have Bruce Hall. Um, we, it used to be the dorms um, for the women here on campus, um, but now we use it for athletic offices um, here on the first floor. So glad y'all could join us today as we uh, went around campus and hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, we'd love for you to contact us. Our contact is right here below uh, if you have any questions. Um, and hopefully we'll get to see you soon in our office.